Mesh. M mash. Can't hear you, Rose. Can't hear anything. <laughs> Carrot and ginger soup with, with gluten-free croutons. Oh, um, yeah. An incredible soup recipe that I just whipped up for me and Nan. And Nan is loving it to the extent where she posted it on the family page. Oh. Um, oh. On the conversation. And she said, um, what did she say? She said, oh, my goodness, eat your hearts out, family. I've just had this delicious carrot and ginger soup with gluten-free croutons served up to me on a chilly night like tonight. Thanks once again, Rose. XOXO. It's so sweet. It's so sweet. Yeah, my sweet. Nan is the sweetest person ever. All right, guys. Do you we... feel, though, that soup is a, is a main... <laughs> just before <laughs> anyone says course. anything too controversial about soup, we are now live. Ah! Oh. oh, God. Um, I just feel like, to answer just Alice's question quickly before mm. I know it's something to do with spelling, but I feel like, because I always enjoy a glass of wine, and I feel like I can never have soup and wine, so I always opt mm. to, like, flag mm. the soup. Go for the wine and something like a solid, you know? Yeah. I think a wine as well. A wine is I like think a that's great crazy. soup in a way. But like, a it's like in the morning if you want to have a dispatcher. smoothie. Like yeah. if you want to have a smoothie for breakfast, it's hard to have like a smoothie and a cup of tea. Yeah, it's too much liquid. Yeah. But if this um, pandemic has taught us anything, it's live your life how you want to. You know what I mean? Mm, Hold so your true. breath and wait to, well, I don't know, yeah. It's taught me to wash my hands properly oh that too yeah that too i've never washed my hands properly i don't reckon before this how are you we washing didn't have your hands soap. prior <laughs> a bit of water a bit of water and a bit of a shake <laughs> there were times when i was younger when i was just so rebellious and an anarchic i didn't want to wash my hands but mum would be listening so i just run the tap <laughs> <laughs> i've done that before as an adult i have done that that's I have 100% done that as an adult. Yeah. I think mm. we all do that. It's not. Why do we do that? If we can well, fucking run the tap. Everyone's that. judging us, you know? It's like, yeah. sometimes you don't want your hands to get wet. Sometimes yeah. I will stand at the bathroom vanity looking at my toothbrush and still just put a bit of toothpaste on my finger and go like that. Oh, I never, because, oh, I'd never do that. Oh, don't fuck with oh, me, Jack. Yeah, not now. That. <laughs> that's, that's where I draw the, the line, you know? I will swap my, <laughs> I will use other people's toothbrushes and lend mine out happily but I can never put my own finger in my mouth with toothpaste. So you will take a huge shit and not wash your hands afterwards, but you won't put a little bit of toothpaste on your finger and just rub it around to give you a clean, <laughs> okay, fresh. For a start, I don't do huge shits. I do petit shits right throughout the day. I do about seven petit shits, but I don't do a huge shit for a start, Alice. Um, Everyone anyway, occasionally does a massive shit, Jackie. <laughs> That's not true. What you Jesse, say? Got up in the, Jesse got up in the middle Some of the night. I hope die. he doesn't. I hope he doesn't mind me saying this, but the thing is, <laughs> I hope he doesn't mind me saying this. I hope he. No, oh, that makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, he got up in the middle of the night and did a big one. <laughs> I mean, that's weird. There's nothing wrong with that. It doesn't have to be so regimented. People can take shits when they have I to. I have not. I've you never. Know, I've never done my entire life. life. I've never done a middle of the night shit. Neither not in my life. entire life. It's you guys haven't time. lived. All right. <laughs> Um, I'm just going to shut all of these cool. extraneous links. It's now 8.30 p.m., which means the Spelling Bee is officially live. Good evening, everyone, and welcome along to the second ever Guy Montgomery's Guy Mont Spelling Bee. I've had a very frantic day uh, compiling words, organizing words, organizing rounds, and uh, I'm very excited. We welcome back our reigning champion, Rose Matafeo. Rose? Hello. Hello. Thank you so much for having me back. I know it was optional to come back, but um, uh, I, I, I was thrilled when you asked me to be part of it. And um, yeah, I'm just happy to be here. Yeah, I'm, I'm so excited to have you back. I think, yeah, cheers indeed. Um, it's great to have someone with a competitive spirit in the driver's seat. I, uh, I really look forward to seeing how things shake out this evening. Sure. Uh, some of your challenges this evening, your podcast co-host and frenemy, Alice Sneddon. Alice, how are you? Hi, Guy. Thank you so much for having me. I'm well, thank you. That's good news. Uh, how's your day been? It's been good, but like I'm, I'll be honest with you, I, I'm a really bad speller and it causes me deep anguish to be competing with Rose in something that I feel so confidently I will lose because that does nothing to dampen just how competitive I feel. So mm. I'm worried that there will be tears. That is tough. Ordinarily, yeah. like, do you think you and Rose are well matched as friends, or do you sort of think of yourself as having the? No, I think I hand? strive ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, interesting stuff. Wow. No, uh, we are very competitive, but um, in a, a completely unfounded ways. But um, I feel like this might be 
founded for me and unfounded for Alice. But let's see. <laughs> I really uh, look forward to um, seeing how she competes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And oh, yeah, Jackie, go ahead. Is that a good, a good thing? That if I put up my hand, it's quite good. Eh? Yeah, that's really nice, actually. <laughs> yeah, do you know, I nice. think that's what they Polite. do in commercial radio is when oh, one of them's got a good one, they go, and then, you know, because obviously you can't see that as a listener. No, I, I don't have a good one, but I was just going to say, and I should know this from social media, but are you two still in, are you guys in the same house, Alice and Rose, or no? You're now at your nans. What, what's happening? Are you, Ro- Rose is, Rose is oh, at your nans. nans. What are you, your mole for Ministry of Health? Rose is at her. Yeah, uh, well, are you in <laughs> like, no, Are you guys in separate rooms doing the spell? No, I just want to know. No, like, no, I want to no. know Rose moved to her nan's after her travel ISO, but in level three, her nan and my uh, my family have joined bubbles. Oh, so now we go between the houses, but we're in different ones right can now. Can I say, as an outsider, when I see people who have got uh, two bubbles to move between, I am just absolutely I swimming know. in the jealousy. It drives me yeah. nuts. Paul, you've, you've got your finger up very politely there, <laughs> and quite formally too. Oh, no question. I was just saying I'm the number one speller in the game right now. <laughs> And, oh um, and Rose, what you have, I'm coming for. <laughs> wow. Fantastic. Uh, look, before we get to the formal intros of J- uh, Jackie and Paul, Alice, did you bring a word, your favourite word to say or to spell? Yeah, I did. Cumberbund. Mm, lovely word. Uh, yeah, it's a silly word. And it's not spelt how you would think it was spelt, which makes me think that maybe I'm saying it wrong. Can I guess how you spell that? I, yeah, go I ahead, say, please. I say cummerbund. Yeah, you might be closer I than I, I am. Cumber, I say cumberbund. Yeah, that's yeah, how I say it, Jackie. Yeah. I say everything like Alice says it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've noticed yeah that. we I'd are say, alike in that. I would have thought it was like uh, C-U-M-B-E-R, cumberbund, cumberbund. B-U-M-B. No, you've already made a huge misstep. There's so a it's J actually spelled C. <laughs> There's definitely yeah. a J in it. Yeah, so it <laughs> goes J. J. Yeah, it goes J C U M M E R B U N D. Oh wow! Come it's, a silly, it's a silly <laughs> item as well. Yeah, it's it crazy. Belt, what, kind of thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, but do you wear a belt a, underneath the cummerbund? It's a real oh, kind of um, yeah, empty space there. It's nice it's to have a bit of on material on there. It's like a bra for your puka. Yeah, yeah. It's sort of a, yeah. a, it's a maternity jeans. It's so a, nice. yeah, a, a Victorian <laughs> spank. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now, Rose, I actually glossed over. Did you bring another words that you enjoy? Oh yes. Um, I I just thought of this just before we went live. Um, on with oh, me. Just just picked it out of the air. Did you just another <laughs> one of those words? Of, I'm sort of a wordsmith. You know, I I kind of know words and I kind of think of them sometimes and just sort of you know bring them to the table. I am um, my my word today is on we. On we. we. Oh, like oh. E-N-N-U-I. Well, yeah, you went ahead and, and spelt it very uh, accurately there. Imagine if I, <laughs> I was like, wrong. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I, I like the word because it doesn't, it doesn't sound like the way it's spelt. You know what I mean? Or yeah, it might be a French it, word. I think it's what, French. It must be French. It sounds so French. What does it mean? Can you put it in a sentence? It's one of those words I've never been very confident to use. It's like a, just a general, it, it kind of is in the same world as like malaise or kind mm. of melancholy or like kind of on where general. These are all 50 cent <laughs> words. Sort of, yeah. <laughs> a bit of, but they're all kind of French mm. words, aren't they? It's funny about the English language, isn't it? How many words are borrowed from other languages? That's, How many words? Do you know what I was thinking today? It's crazy that there are other languages and some people speak <laughs> and two why? or more yeah why and why That's what's why wrong with what we're white doing? supremacist king guy montgomery <laughs> <laughs> cheers guy it's been cheers, wonderful guy. yeah cheers. thanks guys. Guy. i never thought it would be the spelling bee that gets me cancelled um jackie <laughs> oh, how yeah. are you thank you so much for joining us my cool, absolute you, pleasure my absolute pleasure um <laughs> i am hungry because i haven't had dinner but i'm so excited to be here Oh, wow. You're foregoing dinner to spell. Ah, uh, Jesse is saving me some dinner. I'm going to spell quickly, then I'm going to eat. Well, is, are you in New Zealand? Zealand? Am I in New Zealand? Yeah. Yes. Uh, weirdly, Next. It, I keep thinking you're in, it's daytime where you are. Oh, I guess it's this well-lit sorry. room. No, uh, no, 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 no. Turn the light back on. Oh. I, I hate, do you know what I hate? I New hate Zealand? It. I hate Somewhere when, else. Um, <laughs> movies <laughs> are set in the nighttime. I it really, I'm just like, just make it the day. I can't see. It really gets me. 
it's yeah oh no guy 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 no that's the the mystique the the the, the like, that's where we we ponder we ponder when in the, those dark moments <laughs> so much it's happens so in the dramatic. night yeah do you know yeah. a lot of people yeah. happen to take a huge shit in the middle of the night oh, sometimes yeah i'm one of them yeah. and there's nothing wrong with that <laughs> oh, jackie did you bring us a word yes yes i did my word is skiing Mm. And I've always loved this word because there's a double I and it's very oh, hard. It's an excellent hangman word, especially when you're playing with little kids. They'll never get it. They'll go nice. A-E-O-U and, <laughs> and then they'll forget to ask for I. Those, there's are the no ones you, those are the ones you want to fuck up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the oh, little man. kids. Yeah. No, a double I. I mean, I challenge you guys to think of another double I word in the English language quickly, <laughs> like within the next 12 <laughs> seconds. Yeah, I can't hi. Do that. Like if you were saying hi and like yeah, true. No, but that yeah, that's gonna slang. Uh, no, <laughs> yeah, I mean like proper it. words. Oxford. Yeah, um. uh, <laughs> it won't be long before hi is in the Oxford. They're really yeah. just throwing anything in there at this point. And I've finally, been playing. A, I've been sorry to interrupt, guys. No, I don't know. I do that. But um, I've been playing a lot of Scrabble in lockdown with Jesse. Um, it's amazing. Now it's kind of disappointing because you can type in anything into Google and go, "Is hi." a scrabble word um and there will be a number of websites they're like yep oh, yeah, you've, yeah. Got, you, you've got to set up rules within the house and just abide those because if you Oxford. defer the internet anything goes it drives yeah. you nuts yeah. um well thank you so much for joining us and rounding out the contestants this evening we have paul williams paul uh thank you so much for dressing up for the occasion yeah go ahead paul no number one. Oh, yeah, sorry <laughs> it is confusing because it does maybe yeah. if you want to put your hand up you could no, because then that would represent that you're number two. No, for a question, that. I'll do that. Okay, fantastic. Uh, Paul, how... No, now I can't say, like, peace to you guys. Well, we can figure out a system as we go. Let's not get too caught up on it. How are you, Paul? Yeah, good, thanks. Um, what's your background with spelling? Bad. Yeah, really bad. In fact, I uncovered a, a specific interaction that you and I had on Twitter in 2015 where you shared a, a little image that I'd quickly designed for you. And you said, is there anything this guy can't do? And I replied specifically saying spelling. And so it seems like your invite maybe was based off that. I were, you, were you deep in some tweets from 2015 earlier today? Well, I just, I just remembered that interaction and just searched our usernames and spelling and it came up. But um, <laughs> so bad at spelling, yeah. Today, I couldn't spell. Usually, like, the thing is, I think spelling's kind of, like, Latin. Like, it doesn't, re you don't really need to know how anymore. Like, you can just, your computer fixes it, right? Mm -hmm. But occasionally, I will find I'm so bad at spelling that the computer can't, I'm not even in the ballpark enough. <laughs> <laughs> Today, with the word pikelet, I had to write the word pikelet in a few messages. And I put, I put how many messages? <laughs> Four messages. Surely you only need to worry about writing it once, and you can just copy and paste it. Yeah, I know, but um, not the way to learn. I think it's what context in which Paul is using the word pikelet. Over. We don't need what, to go why? into details. Paul, come I'm on. A, I'm on a lot of kind of pikelet forums. <laughs> um and what does pikelet mean am i missing something what does pikelet mean or is it's, it pikelet it's like a it's tiny pancake it is that, right it's not yeah. like a sexual it's yeah. not like a no, no 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 god no I'm, i was yeah but um disgusting I yeah i spelt it just p-i-k-l-e-t -E. i think and yeah an e. e in the middle mm. I, I later found out but my computer wasn't even able to say do you know the issue is, I, I think pikelets are in New Zealand, if not Australasian thing. So I don't think that computers recognize the word. I accepted that. And that was why I was like, oh, it's obviously not a word. It's like a New Zealand slang word. But then I later found out, uh, no, it, it is a word. Wow. Well, What's a pike? Is it like a pike? It's like a little pike. A little pike, yeah. Mm. A little pike. A stack of pikes. Yeah. Well, God, guys. The world is interesting, isn't it? We've got four fantastic contestants. Uh, before we get started, I will explain the rules. Actually, no, before I get started, I'll play the, um, the, the great video with, you know, terrible audio quality, but um, it's worthwhile. Let's get spelling. Hold on, here we go. Good job, man. Oh, 
I love that video. Beautiful. You yeah, chat it's out awesome. To Jono for the video, guys. Um, so we're going to get into it now. I'm just going to explain the rules. Rose, you obviously know for the three newcomers, uh, this is not your traditional knockout spelling bee. So this is about accumulating points. You can accumulate points throughout the rounds. Whoever has the most points at the end of the B wins. You also cannot get points for correctly spelling a word that one of your, uh, one of your, you know, the competition get wrong. So from one round, the buzz round, which is around where you use your name to buzz in. And if someone gets the word wrong, you can then spell it correctly. Um, everything must be done in your head. You can't write it down. And, uh, also, you can't, I shouldn't have to say this, but Tim Bat in what oh my was, God. The, yeah, get it out of there, that's right, thank you, Jackie, in the most villainous turn I've seen from Tim Bat in the several years I've known him, uh, he Googled one of the words for the correct spelling, and that is obviously also off limits, it's embarrassing really, I have to mention it, but such is life. Uh, now, the first round, also I've got, I, I, I don't have a B this time, but I did, I took from um, a child through <laughs> Rex. Bit of fun. Story. Yeah, yeah, that's the and one. Twister. And Toy Story 2, yeah. Pulled off and 3 and 4, actually. Um, <laughs> oh, so this is, oh, yeah, and 3 and 4, yeah. We've got your thinking music. Um, yeah. Have you got an implement to do that with this time so you don't get a blister, guy? No, but I'm just going to go softer. This is from oh. last week, so it's stuck around. But um, wow. I've actually been experimenting. You're the most blistered boy. I do get blisters, yeah. I think you muted yourself a touch early in that observation. But I've been... Oh, I haven't been muting myself at all. That's okay. Are we, are we supposed to be? No, 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 do what you like. And if you no, spell no, one, no, if you spell a word wrong, you will you will hear the... Um, that's on vibrato, so I'll take that off because that's, that's a bit clean there. If you get a word wrong, you don't want to hear that. That's bad news. Um, otherwise, I'll be keeping tally of the points as we go. The, the order of spelling will be Alice, Jackie, Paul, then Rose. <laughs> oh, my God. The first round is... Um, Stuff from around my house. It's the stuff from around my house round. Huge thank you to Bella for drawing up the cards once again. I'm actually also going to try my this. My heart rate is genuinely increased. I'm, I'm feeling I'm like a little bit I feel nervous. so nervous to be publicly humiliated. Hey guys, it's going to be fun and it's going to go really well. Now, um, Alice, can you see me? Yeah. Yes, for better or for worse, yeah. Fantastic. Now, the first thing that we're going to be spelling is this. It's a uh, it's a dispenser. So if <laughs> a dispenser. If you spell this correctly, you will get five points. You will not lose any points for spelling it incorrectly. Okay. <clears throat> dispenser. <laughs> I'm already it's feeling the pressure. Way. I thought, what happened to the um, three-letter starting round? It was too easy. I had to take it out. Okay. D I S P E N S E R dispenser. Correct. <laughs> How are you feeling? Good to get one under the belt. Yeah, I feel I feel really good about that actually. Well, congratulations to you. I'm uh, sure the three letter round is out because my plan was to get that right and then not guess at all in the last round and just try and bank on. <laughs> Winning with three. winning on five points. <laughs> well, yeah. we'll see how it plays. I imagine it's going to be quite challenging for you. Next up, spelling we have Jackie, who's been playing a lot of Scrabble recently. Could make mm. her a contender. Jackie, your word is octopus. Okay, octopus. <clears throat> o c t o p u s. That is correct. Oh, the relief, the relief. <laughs> Do you, can you genuinely feel the pinch when it's happening? Is it quite scary? It's that noise as well, that sound. I love it. That's so like cool. a horror film. This is good fun, isn't it? Oh, um, why do you have this picture up? I, I just thought it would be a bit of fun. Should I take it down? Yeah, yeah. definitely. Fair enough. <laughs> definitely. Oh, sorry for playing with the form, you guys. Gee whiz. With all due yeah, love and respect, that was a terrible fucking idea. Uh, this is why we're here, you know, to, 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 to coach each other into making good decisions. Uh, coming up next, we have Paul. And Paul, your word, actually, you call these something else. And you're, you're quite well known on Instagram for reviewing them. But uh, for the sake of spelling, I'm going to get you to spell the word biscuit. I mean, that's a cookie. That's straight up a cookie. 
Yeah, I, I knew you'd bring this up. But, I've never um, used this word in my life. <laughs> my mum's Canadian. It's been cookies since day one. So is a biscuit cheese something that looks more like a scone? It's not a word. It's not a thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, B I S C U I T. Correct. This nice. it. And delicious. Thanks for doing that, Paul. I thought you might not spell um, that word out of principle, but you really came to play. And finally, in round one, we have the defending champ herself, Rose Matafaya. Rose, please spell for me magazine. <laughs> magazine. A bit of a New Yorker. Smart guy. M A G A Z I N E. Correct. Who says Z? Yeah. Would that be correct? That was great. No. <laughs> I, so I, I say Z. I think Z sounds better. Z what? makes it feel like the alphabet keeps going. Z is too final. <laughs> well, yeah, Z, and Z also makes it rhyme. Z's yeah. out of But would it be correct in a New Zealand run In Z. Yeah, I'm from NZ. I think she should have, she, she should lose like half points for that. I think half points, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. I think you guys are being wicked witches of the West. Yeah. Absolutely Ooh. not. Beautiful I'm just trying to protect the Thank integrity you. of this competition. Oh, really? Hey, I'll be the I'm one protecting the integrity. Thank you very much. Feel free to get yourself another wine, Jackie. I, have to yell for I thought her word was going to be that New Yorker. Good. And I was like, that's unfair <laughs> that you held up like yeah. that Britain. <laughs> <laughs> I do think <laughs> overall magazine was an easier it's word. Much easier oh, than biscuit. my God. Alice, this is, you, you cannot do this. You cannot bring that energy to this competition. Can I? Can I? Yeah. No, anyway, oh. you guys get no. to choose. You guys get to choose what energy you bring. So long as we keep it on the rails. Now, congratulations, everyone! After the first round is on five points. The next round yes. is so. Previously, this was actually called the homonym round, but I've since learned that homonym is like a coverall for both homographs and homophones. And a homophone—that's when two words have the same spelling but different definitions, like live and live. And a, a homophone has the same sound. But different spellings like night and night. So this round is all about homophones, baby. It's the homophone round. Also, um, sorry, how did you just define homophones? And are you going to test us on that? Do we? Are you? No, you don't need to know. That? You don't need to know the definition. Pretty yeah. much, th these words uh, can be pronounced two ways. Uh, these are these are words, different words that are pronounced the same. What was the like, drawing? There was a handshake, and there was like a. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's meat. And meat. Meat. Ah, uh, yes. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's so again, cool. huge shout out to, to Bella. Cool. Yeah, she's good. She's clever. She is very clever. She's the real star of the show. Well, we're all the stars. Bella is sort of a behind the scenes champion. <laughs> um, I'd also like to say I was unfairly criticized by Rose last week for not putting the homophones in a sentence. So I've fixed yes. this. And if you desire, you can actually hear the homophone in a sentence to help you spell. The correct word. So first up, we I'm worried have that's going to be like a homophone, and it's going to be like Alice Nedden. And mm -hmm. this again, this round is worth trickster. five points. You cannot lose any points for incorrect spelling in this round. So this is for five points. Alice, your word is air. Air. Can I have it in a <laughs> sentence, please? Absolutely. Uh, the king inhaled his last breath of air. The heir apparent watched on. <laughs> oh, God. What an asshole. And can you say the word, please, uh, correctly? Yeah. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> it's hard, man. Okay, I'm going to go with air. A-I-R. Correct. Yeah. Oh man, yes. I was sure it was the H. Me too. I'd have gone H. Yeah, me too. Yeah. And I think it, I think it was the H. But I think he was going to say it. correct, no, look, regardless. I, no, do you know what? This is such bullshit. I knew you guys would do this. See, I got it written down, <laughs> yes. so I couldn't get. <laughs> yeah, but you could have easily air as well. Rose, oh, can you please not yeah, bring this energy? Too. I don't have to. I don't have to. I'll... That we're allowed to bring that energy. Show us what's on the desk. Yeah, show us the desk, man. Tilt I can't because all of the all of the words you have to yeah, tilt show down, us the desk. please. I can't like, show it. <laughs> Guy, don't listen to these motherfuckers. Yeah. Honestly, they just want to bring me down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to bring Jesus me Christ. down. 
<laughs> Somehow it's all yourself. about me. The hostilities for me. I found that really confusing, that air, air one. Well, Jackie, your word is flower. Okay, use it in a sentence, please, Guy. Phoebe's made the request without the attitude. Yeah, and my and my name just came up as Jesse Griffin. Yeah, well, whose fault is that? Because my, computer blew, up. my computer blew up. I know my computer blew up. I said I've got a big spelling bee. I've got to borrow your computer. This is it for me. This is my big thing. This is my big social engagement. I, I didn't know that my name was coming up as Jesse Griffin. Why did no one tell me that? This doesn't matter. I was we can gonna see. Tell you. We can this see. is going to do nothing for my profile. <laughs> this is going to do everything. <laughs> This is your big break. People don't know it's me. They do. Okay, it's so you. J Jackie, just hold, write down um, your name and hold it up as your own little sign. Oh, throw, uh, throw away my paper. Okay. When oh, I, me I just assumed you didn't know how to use a computer. I'm so sorry I made that assumption. I don't know how to use a computer. Okay, Flower, use it in a sentence, please, Guy. Oh, use it in a sentence, please, Guy. Thank you. He added a scoop of flour. This cake, baked in the shape of a flower, was the perfect way to commemorate the dead king. Flower. F L O U R. Correct. <laughs> I would have done. I, I know that you. That was the wrong one. Oh, did you say F L O U R? Well, I said the one that was correct. You said, you said F L O U R. No, 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 no. Let's work backwards. You said correct, <laughs> and then I just <laughs> really matched what was it before that. I'm so, so, I'm so sorry. No, I'm so well, sorry. Said, let's work backwards. He said correct. Mm. And then the, the thing, the thing, and I'm Jesse Griffin. Okay, now who's I'm with Jesse Griffin oh, on this one. <laughs> I'm it's so false. sorry, Jackie. False. No points awarded, and I'm very sorry for the false hope of you getting. Well, I don't understand because you said you I was made the cake with flour. Yeah, in the shape of a flower. Yeah, flour. but how do I know which one to spell? Well, this is part of the challenge, isn't Bear it? Therein lies so the rub. Just, is it is just it? guesswork? Congratulations. Is that some it? Of it is to, be fair, to be fair, you did pronounce it the first time as flower. You said flower. Of flower. You, you said, said flower. flower. Oh, no, flower. Like flower. You got it wrong. <laughs> Fuck no, you guys. Do it one We're more moving time. on. But you said Paul, <laughs> your word Hello. is profit. May, may I have the definition of the word, please? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's good. Please? No. Come on, he said, please. Can, can you yeah, use it in a sentence? Although I could, I refuse to profit from being a prophet. See, this is what confuses me. <laughs> uh, profit. Um, P. R. O. F. I. T. Profit. Correct. Wow. I'm not going to make the same mistake I did when I got your one wrong before. Sorry, Je uh, Jackie. Jackie. Jesse. Jackie. <laughs> I mainly chose that because I was worried I would misspell the other prophet. See, that's, that's why I picked ear. <laughs> and rewarded. <laughs> uh, the final word of round two. The, of, I feel like I'm confident for more language here. I'm barely hanging on. Uh, Rose, you're up last. Your word is seen. May I please have it in a sentence, Guy? When I was a boy... I remember that Ripkill released a pair of board shorts that did not seem to have a seam. Seam. S E A M. Unbelievable, but that is correct. Oh, I was sure it was wrong. I was I sure. Reckon there's, there's a pattern there. I think of the second word in the, the sentence the being the word. correct, the correct word. No, was, because yours was the first one, and then and Paul's was the first one. There's, there's no. My theory was it was All the right, I stand down. I stand down until that last one. Uh, well, actually, do you know what I'm going to do? Just to to show you guys, just to maintain the integrity of the project, I'm going to try and share the um. I'm going to share my screen, so you can see. Hope is this is this showing my internet? Mm. Yeah. You can see, that works. You can see the bolded words is the I word can see, I was yeah, looking I can for. see mine spelled correctly. F-L-O-U-R. He added a scoop so of flour. Just so we all know, everything's above board. We're all cool here. After two rounds, we have in you could also place, see there. Jackie think... on five points. And then tied for first place, Alice, Paul and Rose on 10 points. We now move in to the third round of the evening. This is a new round. We didn't have this last week. And I'm pretty excited Ooh. to use it. Uh, it is 
It is going to be interesting to see how it goes. This is the this is the tweets round. So I knew this is coming. Did yeah. you see the word tweets when I shared my screen? No. Oh, but I, I know I because you retweeted a very very early tweet of mine recently, and I went, "There's definitely a tweets round." Uh, there is a he, tweets he, round. He retweeted one from like a few weeks ago of mine. I think he yeah. he he retweeted one of uh, an early one of mine actually. <laughs> so, yeah, I thought, and do you know what I thought? Someone's got a crush. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to be asking you to correctly spell words you've used in your own tweets. I had a great time revisiting all of your solid gold hits that you've pumped out into the world, dating as far back as November 2018. Um, I'm very grateful to be host, not a contestant, because if anyone dug up my tweets from 2018, I would be oh, cancelled. I don't. Oh, God, this is yeah. it wasn't that long ago. Was uh, coming up first, we no, have. No, I was a different person, Paul. I was a different person. Alice Snedden. Yeah, Alice. Alice, the tweet that you wrote was <laughs> Fuck you so much. <laughs> Googled how to spell Jack Kerouac so that I could use it in a text that said, I am Jack Kerouac. Please spell Kerouac. Why has Rose left the screen? She's getting more wine. Yeah. Because she's absolutely on one, brother. Can I have the first? Uh, can I have the, the first and the last letter? Absolutely not. Okay. This is, by the way, I should have said so. This is for 10 points this round. For 10 points. Oh. Kerouac. Kerouac. <laughs> K E R. I can't even see the word in my brain. Sorry. K E K E R O. <laughs> There's like a U in there somewhere. Hold on. Oh my God. <laughs> I literally can't. Okay. K E R O Kiro. You see. You're going to hate this. <laughs> Fucking hell. So close. K E R O U A C. Ah! I know. I oh, think it's, anyway, her official, her official spelling was K E R O K E R O A K E R O A K E R O A. You guys are. Uh, Can you fierce. mute her? <laughs> I actually do have the power, but I'm not going to because I enjoy the shit talk. Um, Alice, you sent that tweet at 8.04 a.m. on September the 23rd, 2019. What was going on? Uh, I, was in, I was actually in Venice. <laughs> Italy or Los Angeles? <clears throat> uh, Italy. Uh, okay. I was in Venice, Italy, and I, I was sitting at a little cafe writing, and I thought, this is living. Is that truly <laughs> what in inspired that? <laughs> I'm embarrassed to say, <laughs> yep. <laughs> Was it a text to me? I think I sent out a text to you, and then I thought, "This is good." Rose obviously loved it in the in the text. Rose oh. gave me nothing in return. I don't think. Yeah, oh, she, okay. She shouldn't even remember receiving like, it. No, I do remember receiving it. I, you were like, I think you were riding at Florian's in Saint Mark Square. Please don't disclose my location. <laughs> <laughs> and you were like, I feel like Jack Kerouac. Um. Wow. All right. Well, I'm so sorry, Alice. Now, next up, we have Jackie. Now, yeah. Jackie, I've done three tweets. I've done yeah, three your, tweets your, in my life. This was actually a lot harder because your tweets were all sort of. Um, I've only done three, I think. Yeah, you don't you don't tweet out inane sort of thoughts like the rest of us do. You you tend to tweet out uh, valuable, you know, materials that will lead people to find your fantastic work. And Thank so, you. the most challenging Thank word you. I could actually find for you was a hmm. quote tweet you did of uh, Jermaine Clement sent out a tweet oh, saying, I do, I do love Jermaine. What we do in the Shadows USA is coming. And you chose to retweet this by simply writing Shadows. <laughs> okay. uh, so your challenge will be to spell Shadows as you think you spelt it at the time. Okay. Can you repeat the word one more time, please? To the correct duration. Again. Shadows. Yep. 
capital S H A D O O O O O W S. Is that you the good sound? Yourself. Oh, it's a, it's yeah. a horrible sound. You Damn. actually felt it. Shadow. Oh man! Wow, that was a wild tweet. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. Oh my god! Yeah, it's crazy. Ten O's. I'm not gonna lie. I went through all your tweets. That was comfortably the craziest tweet. <laughs> I love I how, know how it all works, you know. I love how you also believe capitals have a bit, like a, a, an influence on the spelling of it as well. I just that like to say really proper, good. proper. Yeah. Did you do yeah. it with a capital S? Absolutely, yes. she did. Of course. Yeah. It's the name oh, of a show, Rose. Man. It's the name of a show. <laughs> it's a proper noun. Well, it's not the name of the show because the show doesn't have ten O's in it, does it? But you know, mm. I get what well, you're saying. Maybe I get it what should. Maybe it should. Right. Well, Up you next. you could probably change that, Jackie. I was never an extra in the film. What we do in the shadows. Oh, in the wow, yeah. Job cut. In the film oh, or in the, the TV film. show? I played pool in the background and I played, the, I'm not good at pool, but man, I was on fire. <laughs> All the other extras thought I was really good at pool and then the scene got cut. Yeah. Damn them. Damn so them. You'll carry those <laughs> memories with you forever. Paul, you're up next. Your tweet. Can I oh, guess actually, my... Okay, no, you I actually know. It's pretty obvious to see what was going on with Jackie at the time of that. You sent that out at 10, 10 p.m. on November 1st, 2018. I think the context speaks for itself. You were excited about the TV show. <laughs> crazy night. That's <laughs> crazy. Yeah, yeah, it was I nuts. Know, I can hardly remember even doing the tweety, tweeting it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, 10 O's. What were you on? Um, Paul, your word, or your tweet, sorry, is, I don't use hand sanitizer because I'd rather have germs on my hands than the blood of germs on my hands. Uh this tweet has probably not aged well if you think about the state of affairs globally. You sent it out on June 5th, 2019. The word I need you to spell is sanitizer. Not what I thought it was going to be. What do you think it was going to um, be? I th well, you retweeted one about origami, so I thought it was going to be origami. Even it was though a that's decoy. A Japanese word. Okay, I, um, my question is, there's two spellings of this word, if I'm not mistaken. It's the one you chose in your tweet. What would I have chosen? S A N I T I S E R. Correct. Whew. Ten points. What I wouldn't have killed for my word to be sanitizer. Yeah, you need sanitizer. To stick to basic word. words in your tweet. Do you know what drew me to your tweet was the fact that you specifically researched how to spell it and the idea that maybe you learned something from that, like how to spell the word you were trying to learn how to spell. <laughs> but alas, uh, what was going on for you at this time, Paul? Two thirty-eight p.m. June fifth. I distinctly remember it, and it's going to sound very lame. I was in Western Australia huh? doing a comedy tour. And me and two of the other comedians had decided to start doing um, joke jams where we got together and we, we tried to think of a topic and then we tried to all think of tweets based on that topic. And we thought we were in a motel room in, I can't remember where, some small town and we thought hand sanitizer, I think. And that was the best I could come up with. It's not bad. We've we've done that together recently. We did it around uh, Jenga. And yeah. You, you wrote an absolute stormer of a gag. What was what was your gag? Oh, I can't remember. It was something about like uh, Jenga was invented in the year 1984, the same year as the computer and the Sega Mega System. You're coming out with blocks of wood. Come on, man. You got to do better. It, it, yeah, it was like about the confidence to come out and be like, I've got a new invention. <laughs> And it's yeah. like, I can't remember. It, it was, was good. It was good, man. <laughs> hey, but guess what we're still playing? I played it last night. It's yeah, it's quite a game. game. Jenga. Oh, yeah. No, a lot of no fun. disrespect to Jenga. A lot of laughs. Um, yeah, like a lot Rose, of rounding Jenga. out round four. Your tweet was, it was hard to find a tweet where I thought there was a word that you didn't really know how to spell. Um, your tweet was, got some blood tests back from my GP and they've said my midi chlorian count is super high. I don't actually know what this tweet is in reference to, but 
Uh, you have to spell for me, please, midi chlorian. This was sent on November 26, 2019. Midi chlorian. Midi chlorian is spelled M I D I C H L O R I A N. Midi chlorian. That is correct. And spelled with such confidence, I really oh, regret giving it to beautiful. you. Beautiful. Also, it's a fake, beautiful. it's a made up word. Yeah, what movie is that? It's from Star Wars, episode one. And it's the thing that, that tests how, how much of a Jedi you are. And yeah, that's right. It was right. kind of bullshit. And, so, and, and Qui-Gon Jinn's like, his mid midi chlorian count is high. They test his blood or something, yeah, which is kind of crazy. Right. And everyone was like, that's bullshit because, you know, you shouldn't, it, g being a Jedi isn't genetic. It's something that's spiritual. And um, and I cannot believe I know how to spell it. But uh, yeah, it's uh, well, made it work. So thanks, George Lucas. It's a great thing to know how to spell. At the end of round three, we've got two mm. rounds left, guys. The scores are as follows. We've got in fourth place currently, Jackie on five oh. points. In third place, Alice on 10. And in first equal, Paul and Rose on 20. This next round is a real game changer. There's a lot going to be a lot of moving and shaking. It's a new round. It's a variation on last week's buzz round. This is called <laughs> Through the Alphabet. A to Z. A to Z. A to Z. That, a to Z. A to Z. <coughs> That's right. So ABC. this is a new round where each player will use their name as their buzzer while we march through the alphabet with a word hampered by yours truly, proudly representing each letter of the alphabet. The scoring is slightly different in this round. If you spell the word correctly, you will get 10 points. If you spell the word incorrectly, you will lose 10 points. Yeah, it's a great <laughs> visual gag, Rose. Most importantly, if no one buzzes in to spell the word after five seconds... Listening. That's, that's a group pass. So if no one <laughs> buzzes in to spell, spell, what have you got there? <laughs> what is it? It's glitter. <laughs> it's confusing. I haven't listened to any of the instructions <laughs> and I need Sorry. to catch up. Yeah, yeah. I blame Rose. Uh, so Ooh, I'm ready to go. Oh. Honestly, if she's not listening, that's on her own time. Let's do this. That's I blame Rose. Rose. I also got distracted. Yeah, it's, no, it's, it's a new round. It's a fun round. I want everyone to do their best. So this is... Okay. 10 points for spelling correctly, negative 10 if you get it incorrect. If no one buzzes in after five seconds, the entire group has passed on the word and we'll move on to the next one. If someone buzzes in to spell the word and gets it wrong, you will have the chance to spell it correctly. How do we buzz in? You use your name. Jackie or correct. Jesse. Jackie. I, I would use Jackie if I was you. Okay. <clears throat> on account of being Jackie. Uh, does everyone understand the rules? Uh, yeah. You can okay. ask for the definition of the word and you can ask to hear the word in a sentence in this round. And when are we allowed to buzz in on other people's words? Or do we all buzz in for every word? You buzz in for every word. Oh. And then if someone buzzes in, so say the word is rambunctious and Jackie. Rose buzzes in and spells it wrong. Yeah, yeah. Or you spell it wrong. Then someone else could buzz in and spell it correctly and get those points. And is there a penalty that if you just try and get first every time and you don't get it right? You lose, to, yeah, you lose 10 oh, points you lose, every oh, time you spell part. it wrong. That's the, okay, that's and the, the words are of uh, alternating difficulty. So some of the words will be challenging. Some of the words will be a bit easier. They're all fun words. I'm going to set my timer for five seconds. So remember, if no one buzzes in after five seconds, the word is passed. We move on to the next one. Your first word is... Abbreviate. Jackie. Rose. I heard Jackie first. Janet. A B B R E V I A T E. Abbreviate. That is correct. Oh, two Bs. Woo! Yeah, I would have. I would have gone one B. I would have gone one B. I wasn't yeah. sure oh, at the last great. minute. Congratulations. You went in so strong. Mm. Yeah. Your Thank second you. word for B is brusque. Rose. Alice. I heard Rose first. B R U S Q U E. That is correct. Mm. Oh man, I, I was so K. far off. <laughs> I would have gone K. I would have gone the Q, but I wasn't sure. Yeah. Yeah, I was not, not interested. Oh, it's not interesting. Alice. Mm. I wish I'd have seen it. <laughs> <laughs> Representing the letter C. Cantankerous. Alice. Jackie. A no, I'm afraid Rosie didn't buzz in. Jackie. I did. I, I buzzed in. You must have been on mute. You must have been oh, on your mute. signal must be bad. I buzzed B in. Okay, I heard Alice. In. I heard Alice. Alice. I said Rose before Alice. But anyway, go well, on. Go Paul, on. Paul said Alice. I didn't say anything. Okay? Yeah, Paul I'm said not Alice. Pretty confident. But Guy, who did you hear, Guy? I mean, being the leader of our yeah, ship. Yeah, fine. No, no, no. no, no. It's, 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 it's Jackie. 
Jackie. I will take Cantankerous if you want me to, but I'm no, not ready for you're it. You're giving you Jackie. the first three letters now, Alice. Jackie, Jackie took Cantankerous. Jackie, yeah. you can spell it. There's one second left, so if she gets it wrong, so it is one second. C-A-N-T, what? What? Cantankerous. C-A-N-T-A-N. K-E-R-O-U-S. <laughs> Rick! Oh, Is it? Fuck yeah. 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 I swear to God, I said Rose. I maybe you were muted, Rose. I, swear, I wasn't muted. I fucking well, wasn't did you muted. just say maybe, I'm sorry. maybe Paul, you were just Paul too Paul said quiet. Something, Paul said something over. Paul said Alice. Me. Yeah, no, I said guys, Rose. Before guys, no one wants to watch you guys. Half of the game is buzzing in, all right? So just with each other. Here I we heard. go. Alice seemed very sure of it. Representing the letter D, we have the word dawdle. Rose. Go ahead, Rose. D A W D L E. Correct. Oh, nice. That's tricky. Oh, fuck, man. I hate this game. <laughs> oh, wow. All I'm right. Out of order. Representing the letter E, we have euphemism. Paul. Oh, Go ahead, man. Paul. Don't know it. <laughs> Instant regret. E U P H Youth M E M Youthum I S M Euphemism. Correct. Yeah. Oh. Wow, nice. That was, that was awesome. That was felt awesome. like I made several mistakes. No, no. no. That was oh, awesome. Paul, don't be so hard on yourself. You crushed it. I hate myself. <laughs> Paul, you're doing great. All right. Representing the letter F, we have flabbergasted. Rose. F L A B B E R G H A S T E D. Yeah, I knew it. Alice. 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 Damn it. Alice got in there. Alice, go ahead. <laughs> um, F L A B B E R G A S T E D. Flabbergasted. Wow. Nailed it. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Fuck go off. <laughs> to get that over her feels like I've won the whole game. <laughs> <laughs> That's a 20 point swing. That's huge. In the context of the B, Rose, you still, oh, you got the earpods on. Great. Are we going through the Rose? whole alphabet, can I ask? It's the, yeah, did he pay attention to the fucking name of the... I got distracted. Rose was doing her awesome... A to Z, they called it. I did. They. <laughs> the spelling people. Well, everyone but me, you know. All right. A to Z. Representing the letter G, Z. we have gaiety. Gaiety. Jackie. Hmm. I heard Rose first. G A I. E T Y. That's right. Correct. Lovely. lovely. Okay. Okay. Game on. Come on. <laughs> oh, Let's like fire that. up here. Representing the letter H, we have the word penis. Hey, Paul. Alice. I heard Paul. Oh. H E I N O U S. Correct. Penis. Nice. Mm. That was awesome. I would have put another I in there. Representing the letter I, we have the word impugn. Rose Ellis. Rose was first. I M P U N E. Fuck. I -M -P -U -N -E. You can ask for the word in a sentence. Oh. Can I have it in a sentence? You would have to buzz in. Oh, Sorry, I've got to resume the timer. I don't remember what the word was. Oh. Okay. Can you... Is it P U I N? Is... Yeah, it must be. It's P U G I M P U G N. G. Oh, no. I don't know what that is. No, 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 no. There should be rules about just. Not in this game. Not in this game. Not in this game. Not in this house. All right. Representing the letter J, we have Juggernaut. Rose. Go ahead, J 
U G G E R N A U T. Correct. Oh, I've got to go in more. I've got to go yeah. in more. I think I'm just going to start buzzing in. Yeah, to be me honest. too. All right. I want to undo my two that I've got right. Representing the letter K, Kitchenette. Jackie. Paul. Alice. Rose. Jackie was in first. Fucking bullshit. I heard Paul. <laughs> Kitchenette. K I T C H E N E T T E. Correct. Kitchenette. Yes. Fucking, I had that one. I had that yeah. as well. Yeah. But I got it. <laughs> Representing <laughs> the letter L. I'm going to get the time ready, sorry. Languid. Rose. Okay. I heard Rose. L A N G U I D. Correct. Nice. And this is demoralizing. <laughs> I, I'll tell you what's demoralizing. I have put all of these words in sentences. <laughs> 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 Sorry, uh, guys. No, no, it's okay. Under the letter M, we have menstruation. Rose. Oh. I heard Rose. Fucking bullshit. Oh, Rose. E N. Sorry, I'll start again. M E N S T R U A T I O N. Correct. I think my internet connection must be fucked. Yeah, because I'm saying Jackie yeah, and no one's here. Yeah, I'm saying Alice and it feels There's like a lag. Going on deaf ears. There's a yeah. lag. Yeah. Well, every, I'm hearing everyone at different times. I think it's all going all right, guys. I'm just trying to get through now. Representing the letter N, we have the word nibble. Jackie. Oh. Alice. Jackie was first. Nibble. nibble. N I B B L E. Or Lovely. like K-N-I-B-B-L-E. I mean, it depends. Give it to me in a sentence. It was representing the letter N. Oh, N-I-B-B-L-E. <laughs> That's what I said. Obviously, yeah, it's, I you said N-I-B-B-L-E. But then you, no, then you stared Alice, at me without Alice, moving for ages. I'll, and then I'll I was buzz like, oh, in. okay, K-N-I. No, I got that one. Paul. I'll buzz in. Paul. Alice. Yeah, I got it. Correct, it. Jackie. We're moving yeah. on to the letter O. It's just o. your stare. You were looking at me like, what are you, what are you representing saying? Representing the letter O, we have the word oblong. Paul. Rose. Paul was in first. L-O-N-G. Can I have it in a sentence? <laughs> you say vanilla and I say vanilla. You say oblong and I say rectangle. Um, okay. can you can you give me the instruction in a sentence, please? Retroactively. That guy Montgomery is such an ally, he included the word menstruation in the spelling bee. Wow. What a guy. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't ask for it. At the They're time. not all good sentences. It sure. would have worked okay. in the context of the, you know, yeah, twelve no, preceding sentences. 20, 20, 20, 20. Oh yeah, guy, you tell us how menstruation works. All right, I'm okay, telling okay, you great. how the nice. gas format for the no. come on, yeah, no, you tell us all about menstruation. That's what we want from you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so Representing the letter P, we have the word protruding. Alice, Alice. Rose. I heard Alice. P R O. T R U D I N G, protruding. Correct. Mm, yes. Nice. Representing the letter Q, we have what I think is a lovely word quench. Paul. Roseless. Paul was in first. Fuck me. Paul? <laughs> I've frozen. <laughs> oh. Jackie, come on. Q? Paul. Come on, Paul. Quench. Q. <laughs> oh, comes U E N C H. Quench. Correct. Oh, uh, honestly, a, Paul. Oh, I don't know about Q Q U E N E H H. That was no, a false no. start. I know what he was doing, Paul. It looked right. like you were receiving instructions on how to spell that from someone in a different room. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't. But it right. felt very wrong when I said it. Representing the letter R, we have relinquish. Jackie, Rose. Alice. Jackie was in by a mile. Fuck. What? <clears throat> relinquish. R E L I N Q U I S H. Correct. Oh, cute. Nice one, Jackie. Nice one. That was right. awesome. We're up to cute. the letter S now. Representing the letter S, sequential. 
Rose Ellis. Rose was in first. S E Q U E N T I A L. Correct. Mm. Good spellers. Mm. This is a strong round. Mm. Representing the letter T, we have Turquoise. Rose oh. Jacket. Rose was in first. Oh, I know this. T U R Q U I. Rose? Oh, we see. It's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. Jackie. Wrong. Paul. Paul. Jackie yeah. was in straight oh. after that. I didn't get a beat. I didn't hear a what beat. What is it? Turquoise. T U. R Q U O I S E Turquoise. That's turquoise. Correct. Have you still got your AirPods in, Rose? <laughs> Can you hear me, Rose? Who <laughs> said turquoise? <laughs> Rose? Oh, you got those? Oh, you got the flash ones on. I've got that. Can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Representing the letter U, we have undulating. Rose, okay. Rose, 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 Rose. Rose got in first and also many times after. Do you hear it in a sentence? Fantastic word, beautiful mouthfeel, actually sounds like what it is, a real undulating rhythm, like the undulating hills. Undulating. U-N-D-U-L-A-T-I-N-G. Correct. He's back. She's back. We're down to <laughs> how dare play. she try and present herself as the underdog in this I know. situation? How so dare she? Underdog. U N D E R D O G. <laughs> We're down to the last five words of the alphabet before we go to the final round, the championship round. Okay, game on. Representing V. Vacuum. Paul. Tell us. Paul was in first. Fuck. Question is, is it two or one in the middle there? Mm. V. A C C U M It glitched. It glitched. Jackie. I said once and Jackie it was in first. V A C U U M. What? Correct. Mm. Wait, what double oh, U's? No. Yeah. Double I knew U's, there was yeah. one double. That's and if you wrong. got it wrong. It's not wrong. Guys, that's it's right. <laughs> Representing it. It's not wrong. Oh, it's written down here. That's wrong. The dictionary <laughs> is wrong. <laughs> Representing Back the letter you. W, we have Wobegon. That's not a word. That is not a word. Can you say it again? Alice, I have nothing to lose. <laughs> Alice, you got it there that. just before that. the deadline. Please spell Wobegon. Can I have it in a sentence, please? Back in the day, people would insult one another by describing their appearance as woebegon. Oh, I've got no idea about this. I'm just going to separate it into three different words. Whoa, W-O-E-B-B-E-G-O-N-E, woebegon. What was it? You you can you Alice repeat that? that? W-O-E-B-E-G-O-N-E. Oh, okay. W-O-E-B-E-G. Oh, yeah. Correct. I'll give that to you. You were spelling out the second word B and you repeated B twice. Right. Yes. Which made yeah. it look suspect, but I know what you were doing. So you Did I get it right? Correct, yeah. Did you also Fucking know what hell. I was doing when I spelt turquoise wrong or you knew that I was going for Oh, right? I love that turquoise round. I was know? saying, oh, don't you fucking fuck with this, right? I'm stuck. I'm like, I can't <laughs> even talk. So angry. She can't talk. I wish I had AirPods. Oh. I ordered some. I <laughs> ordered some four them. weeks ago, and they haven't come. Representing oh, no. the letter X, we have whose arm is that? That's Jesse. Kilda, Jesse. But Jesse's been doing this. B, oh, okay. because whenever I talk, look at this, Jesse. Whenever I talk, I'm Jesse Griffin. Hey, man. Hello, Jesse. Hi, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. Jesse, you look really young with your hair growing out. Cool. He can't hear me. Yeah, Girl, nice. He can't hear All right, either. guys. Me and Rose's hair are very, very similar. Mm. Mm. What? Just comment. Yeah. Is commenting on this. You heard that. Yeah. We heard hair. that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Representing the letter X, we oh. have xenophobia. Jackie. Rose. Jackie oh, was in first. Oh, can, you, can you please repeat the word and pronounce it correctly, Guy? Xenophobia. Xenophobia. X E N O P H O B I A. Xenophobia. 
Correct. Two words left in the A to Z round. Represent the letter Y is the word yacht. Paul. Alice. Paul was in first. Oh, he'll get this one right. He's rich. Well, he didn't get vacuum though. Yeah. Well, that's that's a poor word. I have a professional cleaner. <laughs> Are you a professional up. cleaner? No, no, I have many. Has oh, <laughs> sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, sorry. Man so sorry. in a bow tie. He's spelling yacht right. <laughs> this is what happens to my hair. <laughs> my ear, my AirPods get stuck in it. Is that what happens when you get your AirPods delivered? Because that's what's going to happen yeah. to me when mine comes in the mail. A. CHT. Correct. Nice. Easy when you grow up on them. <laughs> and the final word. I've never had a yacht. For the highly contentious. I have speed boats. A what? to Z round. How old are you? Yeah. Is the word zebra. Yes. I heard I rose. Heard Fucking bullshit. Whoa. V E B R A. That was correct. All right, guys, I'm going to have to do some maths. Um, and there's a bit of it to do here. So I'm just going to quickly tell everyone scores. Feel free to talk amongst yourselves. Jack, you could tell that story about your AirPods being delivered. That sounded really cool. Yeah, so I, I actually ordered them about, honestly, four weeks ago. Every day I check the mail as my little outing. If it's not a supermarket mm -hmm. day, I go down to the letterbox, do some, you know, have a little, they're not there. Uh, the did head? you order them from Apple? I ordered them from Dick Smith. Oh, no, no, there's your, there's your number one. Oh. Yeah. I've had to order a lot of stuff. My computer blew up. Our signal booster has Why blown did, up. Did it, did it blow up? How did it blow up? How did the what? computer blow up? Okay, it didn't blow up. It was just about to die. So I thought if I use it one more time, like, mm. it's gone. Like, I don't know if I can get it back. So I took it into the shop a long time ago. Nothing's happening. Can I ask you what's for dinner when you do eventually get to eat it? Yeah, um, Jesse has cooked fish with potatoes and some sort of green i'm guessing oh Yum. wow it's delicious yeah all right guys what kind of oh, okay after four <laughs> rounds and heading into the championship round the scores are as follows i hope i've done this correctly i'm sure i have in fourth place on 50 points alice sneddon in third place on 60 points Paul Williams. In second place, on 70 points, Rose Matafeo. And in wow. first place, Whoa. on a whopping 85 points. Guys, wow. I, was, I was four. Jackie Van Beek. The final four. round is the championship round. These are all words that have been spelled correctly to win the Scripps National Spelling Bee. The words are worth 20 points if you spell them correctly. What if we get them wrong? What happens? Well, oh, gonna, is it not like a buzzin thing? It's not a buzzin oh, thing. Everyone goodness. will get okay. their own word. Okay. If okay. you get them wrong, then okay, you don't get your points. You just don't get your points. Okay, that's you get nothing. Oh my God, this is scary, man. How's everyone feeling? Can, I, can my word be one worth round? a little bit more so that I'm like in the game? Not one word. Uh, I really okay. want to do that, but no, it, it will, com it will compromise yeah. the integrity of the bit. I'd be open to that, though, if we did, yeah. Spelling mm. first. I'd, I'd be open to that if, if you'd read a, script, a little script I'm working on. Are you a registered <laughs> charity, Alice? <laughs> I'm just Are you a, a little thing. No, I'm not a registered charity. Okay, well, then I think that answers your question. Okay. Spelling first. <laughs> we have Alice Sneddon. And her word is milieu. You can ask for it. You can ask for its definition. You can ask for its language of origin. You can ask for it in a sentence. My I'll, have all, the, I'll have all of the above. Thank you. <laughs> Milieu you. is a noun. It uh, means a person's social environment. The language of origin is French. And the sentence is, the word milieu was correctly spelled by 13-year-old Balu Natarajan of Chicago, Illinois, to win the 1985 Scripps National Spelling Bee. But is he happy? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm going to give everyone 40 seconds to spell their words. 
Alice, yeah, your time starts now. M I L I E U. Correct. Wow. Yeah. Man, when you said that, I thought you were crazy. I thought it was two L's in it. I know. I thought I would have spelled it like Alice, but I'm glad Alice did it because it was her round. But I wish it was Jackie. <laughs> Your support means the world to me. All right. I have got a little script. I'll just flick it to you. Flick it to you. <laughs> Jackie. Okay. You're yep. spelling next. Your word is logaria. I don't know what that is. <laughs> logaria. I don't know what that is. It's a noun. It's a login. It is a, a, tendency, a tendency to extreme loquacity. I don't know what loquacity to be, is. To be loquacious, to speak, uh, to, to speak freely and easily. Like verbose. Yes, its language of origin is Greek. The word again, logaria. You can hear it in a sentence? Yes, like please. That? The word logaria was correctly spelled by 14-year-old Nipur Lala of Tampa, Florida to win the 1999 Scripps National Spelling Bee. Your time starts now. Okay, I've got one question. In the Greek alphabet, is there an H? There is an H in the Greek alphabet. And my second question, oh, is that helpful to this particular word for me? I cannot answer the second question. Logaria. Well, okay. You have 20 I'll, seconds. Yeah, 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 yeah. L-O-G-H-A-R-I-A. Oh, no, Jackie. I don't know what that is. Oh, no. Oh, Was it the H? Was it more than the H? It was more than the H. You were correct to, to intuit an H. Oh, whoa, like diarrhea. Yeah, or gonorrhea. Oh. L O G O R R H E A. Oh, hit me with Malu any day. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, pick on me. I am not I'm your not enemy in this saying. game, okay? Treat me like you're Treat Alice. Oh, she's just saying she wishes she had Malu. It's 1999. Don't topple the queen. You know, By I know the way, what you're doing. I tell you this, in 1999, that was the same year that uh, the fantastic documentary Spellbound, Sp Spellbound. Spellbound, I love Spellbound. Spellbound, <laughs> yeah, it's the porno adaptation. Spellbound uh, covered the Scripps National Spelling Bee. It's a really good documentary <laughs> if you want to check out that. Spellbound. <laughs> Spellbound! I love that movie, Spellbound. I really do, it's beautiful. Yeah, I don't reckon it has to be a paw. And I think Spellbound is like, you know, you get boned with like the other team is like they kind of bone you on something. It, you know, okay, It's all like derived from the same filthy place. Paul, your final word in this the championship round is psoriasis. Look at Alice laughing it up. She's all relaxed. <laughs> she's, so, she's sitting on her Milu fucking high horse. Sorry. Paul, do you want to go? Paul, you can ask for no. it in a. You can ask for it. He said, said Siri. <laughs> I didn't say anything. You said Siri. Someone said Siri. Paul, well, you can ask for it. I, the, I haven't started the time yet. You can ask for the definition. You can ask to hear it in a sentence. I'd like to hear it in a sentence, please. The word psoriasis was correctly spelled by 12 year old Molly Diviny of Denver, Colorado to win the 1982 Scripps oh. National Spelling Bee. Shout out to Molly. Yeah. <sighs> Would you like to hear? I bet she's getting spellbound. Language of origin. Oh, yes, come please. on, Alice! It's a child we're talking about. Well, in 1982, yes. she's probably getting it now. It's 2020, yeah. Rose. Oh, oh. Yes, don't talk yeah, about Molly true. like that. It's a noun. It's a skin disease marked by red, itchy, scaly patches. Its language she of origin is Greek. Your time starts now. You have 40 seconds on the clock. Seriously, I don't know how I'm supposed to get this. <laughs> how do you spell? psoriasis <laughs> oh my god that was so funny put the music on to freak him out guy put the music on psoriasis um 15 seconds remaining s i r <laughs> sir ry i rias ry <laughs> Uh, O.S. Rios. U.S. Oh, Sir Rios. 
sauce. <laughs> he wasn't even looking. Sorry. Psoriasis is spelt P S O R I S I S. We are now I had, down. Had an, I had an ask about a scalp psoriasis after um, my mum decided to treat my um, head lice with um, flea treatment um, when I was about nine and then developed uh, quite bad scalp psoriasis. Did you have any nits though? No, never, ever again. So to be honest, wow. shout out. To, yeah, really good parenting there. All right. Everything to play for here. We currently have Jackie sitting in first place on 85, Rose in second on 70. If she spells this correctly, she will become the champion. Incorrectly, we will have a new champion. It's a very exciting time to be here at the oh, Guy Montgomery's yeah. Guy Spelling Bee. Incredible. And anything in it for Paul and I? Or? Uh, it's a lot of excitement. If, if Rose spells it incorrectly, you'll be tied. I would love that. Oh, that feels good. I'd love that. I'd hate I that. I think that feels right. Me. That feels right. For yeah, I think so. For like writing partners. Yeah. To be tired, throw it. Just throw it. I can't let that happen. Do you know what I'm actually going to have to do is uh, make sure I get the pronunciation of this correct because I don't want to do you dirty, Rose. Oh, God. No, it's going to be something I can't spell. It's fine. It's fine. I, just, I, I love coming back here. I love the limelight and Rose, I love attention. Yep. Your word is Staphylococci. <laughs> nah, that's, that's fucking shit. Whoa. Maludo. Like, nah, oh nah, my God, nah, get nah, nah. That's bullshit. Malu, yeah, Malu. Let's all spell Malu. Oh, I'm sorry, have we all forgotten about magazine? <laughs> oh, yeah, true. Zebra? Hey, your time's running out, Rose. Poseiris. Oh, I haven't started a timer, Rose. Poseiris. You can ask for it in a sentence. You can ask for its definition. Can I have, can I have the definition? Language. Uh, Staphylococci. It's a the plural noun of staphylococci. Uh, staphylo, staphylococcus. <laughs> plural noun of staphylococcus. It's a bacterium of a genus that includes many pathogenic pathogenic kinds that cause pus formation, especially in the skin and mucous membranes. Its language of origin is Greek and modern Latin. Staphylococci. 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 Staphylo. I'm going to hear it one more time. Then we start time. Staphylococci or staphylococci or <laughs> staphylococci or staphylococci okay um uh s t a p h a l a c O C C I. Oh, that was good. Oh. The correct spelling is S T A P H Y L O C O C C I. You are in the family. Yep. Sadly, incorrect. Jackie Van Beek, I crown you on 85 points, the new champion of Guy Montgomery's Guy Mont Spelling Bee. The final placings are Paul in third place on 60. No, in fourth place on 60. Alison Rose, type of second equal on 70. Jackie Van Beek, the winner on 85 points. Thank you guys so much for playing. Well it's done, been... Jackie. Well done, Jackie. That was amazing. Thanks, guys. Well played, everyone. Congrats, Jackie. This is saying I wish really I'd been good. higher in the standings. <laughs> And understandably so as well. Um, I hope you guys have had fun. Jackie, you will have the option to, to return next Monday at 8.30 p.m. as the carryover champion. Wow. I'd like to thank everyone for competing. <laughs> That's not a yes. So you'll email me about that, will you? <laughs> oh, text that you. Email? <laughs> yeah. I can't wait. That's going to be so good. Are you I've, had do a, I've had I've had, I feel like I have to do some sort of speech. I've had a ball. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you. A great speech. Thanks, what thanks. You just... Thanks for doing this again, by the way. Yeah, oh, it's, awesome. Honestly, it. it's my pleasure. I, uh, I had a lot of fun putting it together. I actually get quite nervous before them because there's a lot of moving parts and uh, mm -hmm. you never know what you're going to get, but you guys were a fantastic batch of contestants. Mm -hmm. Just while you're on the record, Jackie, do you reckon you'll be back next week? While I'm on the record, I reckon she might be. Mm, interesting. Let's just well, see what she says. Yeah, you're um, talking to Jesse now. Everybody, yeah. let's give a round of applause to Rose, <laughs> our previous champion. It's been a fantastic round. You have, of course, oh. won a delicious pot of Egmont honey that I'll be delivering to you once it is legal. Yes. Jackie, 
Your wow. prize is a bigger tub of bush honey that I don't actually have on my person, but you've also won a yeah. prize. Uh, Alice and Paul, your presence means everything to me. Thank we'll you. See you it's next incredible time. to know that I could have been champion last week. On Guy Montgomery's Guy Mont Spelling Bee. Stay safe, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks, Guy. Thanks, Guy. Thanks, Guy. Bye. I forgot Bye. How to, I've forgotten how I'm to just going to keep waiting. <laughs> I'm just going to end the meeting. I can staffle a coffee. Love you guys. Love you. Love you, Guy. Love Bye. you.